Hello students, first of all I would like to introduce myself. My name is Virendra Dera. I am a lecturer of English and I am going to teach you chapter 3, Deep Water. William Douglas is the author of this chapter, Deep Water. This chapter is not a fantasy or a fiction. This chapter is the life experience, real life experience of William Douglas life in which he had fear of water, water phobia in the childhood and how did he overcome it that has been mentioned in the deep water he had fear of water when his father took him to the beach in california and he was standing there with his father what happened suddenly waves came over him and swept over him he was buried in the water his breath was grown but Anyhow, he had fear of water, but he was determined to overcome the fear of water because it ruined his fishing trips. He was very fond of doing fishing trips. It deprived him of the joy of boating, canoeing, swimming. So he was determined that I have to get over the fear of water anyhow. So he decided to learn to swim. On that time, he had two options. First is the Yakima River and second is the YMCA pool. Yakima river was very treacherous, very dangerous. His mother informed him that Yakima river is very dangerous. Even, even the so many expert swimmers have drowned in it. So you don't need to go to Yakima river to learn swimming because you already have fear of water. So he decided to choose YMC pool because it was safe. It was not so deep. So he decided to learn to swimming at the YMC pool, YMCA Young Men Christian Association. This is a swimming pool branchage that has been spread among the whole American country. It was very safe for him so he decided to learn to swim to YMCA pool. One day he was sitting there, he was waiting someone to come. He didn't want to go there alone because he had fear of water. So he was waiting for somebody to come. Suddenly a big bruiser of boy came there and tossed him into the water. What happened? He landed in the sitting position and swallowed water. Went at once to the bottom. He went at once to the bottom and he was very frightened. Although he was frightened but he was not out of his. His mind was working. He was totally insane. So he decided to come out of that danger. He was suffocating. He screamed. And he was trembling with fear. His arms did not move. His legs did not move. Now he tried so much. He cried for help but nobody came. But at last he crossed to oblivion. He lost his sense. And he found himself lying on the stomach beside pool. And he was vomiting. Outside the boy said. Who tossed him into the water. The boy said that I was just joking. But it was a joke for him. But it was not really a joke. It was the tuition of life for him. He was narrowly escaped death. He decided to learn to swim anyhow. So what did he do? What step he took? took? He hired an instructor. That you have to teach me swimming. What did the instructor do? He put a pair round the glass. A rope was attached to the belt. That went through a blue that ran on an overhand cable. He held on the one end of the rope. In this way, he ensured that Douglas would not drown. They went back and forth. Within three months, the fear of water started to become less and less. He taught him to exhale in the water and inhale after raising the nose. He repeated his exercise hundreds of times. In this way, he built him a perfect swimmer. Although the instructor gave the green light, yes, now you are a perfect swimmer, but still he had a residual doubts, still he had doubts in his mind that I have not learned yet. So to make sure that I have learned swimming, what did he do? He, lake, he went to the Lake Wentworth and he dived off Trix Island. Terror again, he began to terror, but when he laughed, terror fled. In this way, he conquered his fear of water. Now some questions can be discussed of this chapter. What is the misadventure that William Douglas speaks about? One day William Douglas goes to YMCA pool to learn to swimming. He is sitting there, someone to come. 
a big bruiser boy comes there and tosses him into the water. He narrowly escapes death. It is the misadventure that William Douglas speaks about. Why was Douglas determined to get over his fear of water? Douglas was determined to get over his fear of water because it ruined his fishing trips. It deprived him of the joy of boating, canoeing and swimming. How did Douglas overcome the fear of water? Douglas hired an instructor. He put a belt round Douglas. A rope was attached to the belt that went through a pulley that ran on an overhand cable. The instructor held on the end of the rope. In this way, he ensured Douglas that he would not drown. They went back and forth. Within three months, the terror of water started to become less and less. The instructor taught him to exhale in the water and to inhale after raising his nose. He repeated each exercise hundreds of times. In this way, he built a perfect swimmer to the Douglas. What is the childhood fear that Douglas is talking about? One day, Douglas' father took him to the beach in California. He was standing there with his father. Suddenly, waves came down and he was buried in the water. His breath was gone and he began to panic. He began to have water phobia. That is the childhood fear that Douglas is talking about. What warning did Douglas' mother give to him? Douglas' mother gave him the warning not to learn swimming in Yakima because many expert swimmers had drowned in it. It was very treacherous. So he decided to learn to swim at YMCA pool. Why did he decide to learn swimming at YMCA pool? Because it was safe. It was not very deep. He could learn swimming there easily.